This morning, Gabby Petito's parents filing a $50 million wrongful death lawsuit against the police department in Moab, Utah, claiming Gabby would be alive today if not for the officer's negligence. She could have been protected that day. There are, pe there are laws put in place to protect victims and those laws were not followed. She and her fiance, Brian Laundry were questioned by Moab police in August of 2021 while on their cross country trip weeks before her family reported her missing. Police were responding to a 911 call from someone saying they saw Brian slap Gabby. Did he hit you though? I guess, yeah, but I hit him first. Petito told officers she was suffering from anxiety and other medical issues. They labeled the incident a mental emotional breakdown rather than a domestic assault and separated the two for the night. The police department failed to properly train their officers to be able to handle these situations and identify, properly identify the aggressor in a domestic violence situation. Gabby Petito is believed to have been killed in Wyoming more than two weeks after that Utah police stop. Her remains found in mid-September, her death ruled a homicide. The city of Moab is vowing to fight the lawsuit, saying the attorneys for the Petito family seem to suggest that somehow our officers could see the future based on this single interaction, adding no one could have predicted the tragedy that would occur weeks later and hundreds of miles away. And I guess there's been some things in the past that I have read and changes haven't happened and those changes need to come. Lionel Moyes, ABC News, New York. Laundry was found dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound in Florida. The FBI says he wrote in a notebook that he killed Petito. Her family has also sued Laundry's estate. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.